You may remember on Oklahoma Gardening about two years ago, we went down and shot a show near Jackson, Mississippi. We went down to look at Felder Rushing's garden, and I got to be on the radio with Felder, and he had a co-host by the name of Dr. Dirt. And we went and visited Dr. Dirt's garden as well, and looked around at some of the artwork that he had in that area. Of course, we were down there to interview Felder because he was coming to be our speaker for Summer Garden Fest. But in Dr. Dirt's garden, he had some really interesting items that he had planted and all kinds of artwork. And we decided to borrow some of the Dr. Dirt artwork and create some of this art for our own garden. And this is an example right here. Laura Payne, our volunteer coordinator, put this together. She uh, got some spray paint and painted this, this old stalk of an abutilon plant that was growing out here last year and just uh, spray painted in it some bright colors in a few different spots and it really makes a nice piece of artwork for the garden. Well over here I've got some other species that we can utilize in this way. The plants that Dr. Dirt had painted in his garden were the Cassia alata or the candelabra or candlestick plant that a lot of you are probably familiar with. A very tall annual with yellow flowers and can grow to about 10 feet tall. But you can do this in the garden with a number of species. Castor beans, sunflowers, snow on the mountain, and uh, lots of different plants you can use to make this type of artwork. And it's not going to last for a very long time in the garden. It's sort of a temporary piece of artwork, but it is a lot of fun and it can provide some color in the dead of winter. Well, the plants he had were left growing in place and he just painted them, but if you want, you could put a stake in the ground and cinch it up with some twisty ties or something like that to move your piece of art anywhere you want to in the garden. Well, I've got a couple of species of uh, plants that were just kind of growing along the edge of the woods out here. This is the poison hemlock, and we want to make sure that it doesn't have any seeds on it before we bring that into the garden to paint, so you can just pull all of those off. And it's also a good idea to uh, maybe take some of the old leaves off of those stalks as well. This flower stalk is from a verbicina, a uh, really neat plant to attract butterflies to your garden, one of our native daisies with uh, yellow flowers in the fall, very tall, also behaves as a frost weed uh, in the fall when the uh, temperatures start getting cold and uh, sometimes you can see these little ribbons of ice at the base of the plant when the, the moisture comes from the roots and just kind of exudes out of the, the, the cracks in the bottom of the stalk and makes these little ice sculptures. Sometimes you can see that. But uh, it will make a very good plant to uh, stake up and spray paint. Well, right here we've got one set up. This is just a pokeweed from uh, just the kind of the edge of the garden. Great wildlife plant. They eat those, those berries, the, the birds do, but uh, we don't want to eat any part of it unless it's been boiled and the water dumped off a couple times because it is toxic. But uh, I like the shape of the plant here and it kind of gives us some neat, neat structure and I think it'll make a really good piece of art once we spray paint it. And you can see the stake here we got in the ground and the little twisty ties or the little cinch straps and just pull those tight to uh, hold it in place there. And now we're ready to uh, get out our cans of spray paint. And we'll just start with a little bit of purple here. And of course the main thing when you're doing this is to not get paint on you. So uh, if you're spraying when it's a windy day, make sure you're spraying upwind. It's really pretty easy to do. Well, there you have it. I'd like to thank Kevin Gregg, our videographer, for doing a lot of this artwork while we cut away there. But again, a wonderful botanical, colorful work of art for your garden.